Yeah, I wanted to use a, hopefully a short little video here, a little project that I'm working on for my wife. What she has is a, a little small wooden desk, an old wooden desk that she's using for a computer monitor and a craft room. It's got two drawers on the side and then the, the drawer, the, the flat shallow drawer. And uh, she came to me, she was using these Altoid tins as uh, as organizers in the, in the thing. She only had two of them. She asked me if I could make some little boxes like that. So I came up with this idea. This is my second try at this. First one failed. But uh, what I've done is I've uh, laminated some three quarter inch plywood or what's 27, 30 seconds or whatever they call it now. Uh, and I got that together and squared up on my on my table saw and my, my jig that I have on my table saw and uh, then I use this uh, marking gauge to mark out my lines for the walls and I tried to make uh, this size of compartment in it. It's going to be twice as deep as that. It will fit in the drawer. I've already checked that. So what I'm going to do, you're going to have six the size of this three a little narrower and then this wasn't going to be a solid piece all the way across an open solid open piece all the way across and then I'm going to glue a piece of Baltic birch plywood eighth inch on the bottom to make a floor for it and it's kind of my version of redneck woodworking it's just uh, just kind of uh, uh, raw stuff here I just use what I have on hand she's more interested in function than she is necessarily in the looks, although she appreciates things that look good. She keeps most of the little boxes I make because she likes the way they look and she likes boxes just like I do. So anyway, this is going to be hidden in her drawer. I'm going to kind of smooth it up a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be a thing of great beauty because plywood is not necessarily a beautiful wood to work with, but the reason I'm using it is it's stable. Uh, it won't be weak here like you would on just a piece of three-quarter inch uh, material. Uh, you need something laminated and layered so your strength you won't have short grains in these areas that will break easily. It won't try to warp. And that's the reason I'm using the plywood and that's what I had on hand. So I'm going to drill a whole entry hole in each one of these and then I'm going to take the scroll saw and cut that out. And uh, then we'll take a look at it and, and see if it's going to be any good. I'm not even sure we're going to like it but I think it'll be functional anyway. So I'll get these holes drilled and we'll move to the scroll saw. Well, I've got the holes drilled and we're at the scroll saw. I've got a number nine XL blade in it. That's non-reverse tooth. Uh, it should cut pretty easily. It won't be a super easy cut, but uh, plywood usually cuts fairly well. Anyway, we're going to cut this first one out and kind of get an idea how it's going to go. I won't film the whole thing, so it's going to be a lot of boring cutting, but we'll, we'll see how this one goes to start with. So there's the first cut. It doesn't cut too badly. It's a nice smooth cut. I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, see I'm cutting a little curved area here. I'd add a little strength to these joints. Uh, plus it just looks a little neater I think. But uh, what I used to make those I took the lid off of a, uh, a glue stick and the lid's round. I put it there and traced around to get those corners made. So I'm going to finish cutting this out, and then we'll get to the uh, bench and look at it, and make sure everything's going to be alright. Alright, so this is fresh off the scroll saw. 
I haven't done any cleaning on it, no sanding. Got some places to clean up inside. Uh, you know, one thing I want to point out when you're cutting something uh, this thick, and what my experience with it is, and I've done quite a bit of it here lately, uh, what you got to watch, for me the biggest problem, is two problems. The biggest one is keeping the, the blade to track straight top to bottom. You see right here, you can see that, in that curve right there, as I was making that curve, it's hard to see, but the bottom of the blade didn't match the top, as you can see it right there. It, uh, I, I went through the curve too fast. you got to move slowly through the curve to give the blade a chance to stay up and make the cut. And that's affected by the type of material and how the grain of the wood runs. Of course, you don't worry about that with plywood because you've got alternating grains. But, point being, you have to move slowly through the curves, let it eat its way through. Um, and I like to cut as high speed on the saw as I can because it gives you a smoother cut, uh, for one thing. And another thing is the little bellows that blows the sawdust out of the way, uh, it works off the action of the, of the saw arm, so the faster the arm works, the more air you get. Uh, but you got to hit a balance there because in a thick wood it'll get hot. So a lot of times I'm going through, I've got my hand on the side of the wood, kind of feeling if it's getting warm, and, and you can smell it. Uh, you can smell it up to a point. Every wood has its own smell. But uh, anyway, this, that's kind of the tips on cutting a thick, thick piece of wood. And this is uh, uh, about an inch and a half, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, about an inch and a half, give or take. So, and I've got some places to clean up in here. I'm gonna get my little, little file and my rasp and, and clean those up and sand it a little bit. And I'm gonna sand the top of it, uh, get these marks and everything off of it. And then I'm going to get down with a piece of, uh, uh, use, I'm going to clean the bottom too. I'm going to, i got a piece of uh, uh, Baltic birch plywood. I think it's eighth inch. And I'm going to put that in there. I've already tested it in the drawer. If it's in the drawer, fine. My wife is really excited about it. She thinks it's going to be great. She's ready for me to finish it so she can start using it. So I'll do a little sanding and cleaning. And then I'll cut that, that plywood and glue to the bottom of it, and it should be ready not too awful long from now. So there we have it. <clears throat> That's my redneck woodworking drawer organizer. Just plywood, that's all it is, plywood. A three, two, two layers of three quarter inch and an eighth inch poplar, I mean a Baltic birch on the bottom. I didn't do a lot of extra work on it, just some sanding and relieving of edges and glued the bottom on. And we already checked if it's in the door and that's all I'm going to do with it right now. I'm going to let her use it a little while and we may see about a finish on it later if she wants one. But this is kind of a test. But uh, I'm pleased with it and she likes it too. So if you like that, hit the like button and if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and uh, there's some more oddball projects like this.